Honestly, I'm so confused on how to define cross-dressing, especially in a place like Nigeria where, you know, our daddy is still the Thai rapper. Putting on clothes that are typically ascribed to the opposite gender. Whatever stereotypically a guy looks like, if a woman is dressed that way, she's considered a cross-dresser. Or when a female decides to present in a masculine manner, fashion-wise. An extension of the bill is that anyone who is, you know, accused of cross-dressing, besides those doing different entertainments. Which are like, even your entertainers, your skit makers. You could literally be jailed. I could get a criminal record, which would definitely limit your opportunities in life. So now that means we now have to know the definition of entertainment. So this is now, it's too extra. But I feel like a lot of people fall under these categories as well. And you being told that you could be arrested literally just for an item of clothing you've worn is rather scary. You know, some people's fashion is natural or, you know, innate or it's from within. So I don't think fashion is gender. From the get-go, we've always had male fashion, female fashion, and then unisex fashion, which is the blend between the both of them. But as we move forward as a people, we've come to realize that a lot of people don't fit into binary gender roles. A lot of people identify as non-binary. There's always been gender ascribed to a particular sort of dress and a particular sort of outfit. Fashion is supposed to be doing what you're comfortable in. You know, it's not really, is it trouser, is it pencil, is it spaghetti strap, is it blazer? Fashion is wearing what is comfortable for you. It just depends on the people themselves or people that are um, opening up to the idea of blurring the lines between these genders in fashion. This bill should not be a priority for lawmakers. There are a lot of things they could address, like literally any issue in Nigeria. You could literally pick any of the most important things right now. And it's quite hilarious that people are going to be sent to jail because they're trying to express themselves in a certain way. Get the gist? <laughs>